How we doing guys? It's another edition of the rounds bringing you the freshest and tastiest in all the brews. My name's Glenn and uh, as per usual I am uh, trying to keep you up to date on everything that brews man. We're going a bit old school and by a bit old school I mean really freaking old school. Uh, it turns out not too long ago Schlitz decided that uh, that maybe they should stop being a joke beer. Um, for pretty much the entire time I've been alive, they've been known for their malt liquor. Um, but, flashback to the 60s, and Schlitz is actually known as one of the better American beers you can get your hands on. So, this is Schlitz beer, and it is their original 1960s formula. Here we go, man. Wow. Light, extremely transparent. Um, definitely yellow. Not even so much as a hint of amber. Uh, there's no color variation. Um, the head appears to be light, uh, extremely carbonated, very effervescent. Uh, it also seems to be breaking down insanely quickly. Oh, but look at the bubbles. It's like champagne. Great. Um, <laughs> so, you know, I'm not even seeing like a ton of effervescence in the glass. I would have expected this to be a little more bubbly than this. Um, but as you can see, this took less than maybe 30 seconds for the head to break down all the way. Completely translucent, easy to see through. Malt on the nose. And just ever the slightest hop bite. It's almost like kind of a Tattinger hop. Um, it's, a, it's, po it's a popular hop to use in terms of like Pilsner styles. Um, it's, it's not known as like an immensely flavorful hop. Uh, but then again, most of the beers that use this hop are pandering to the masses um, who don't know how much flavor you can get out of your hops. There's something on the nose that I can't identify. Uh, malt and water. Uh, the hops barely present themselves. Uh, it almost seems as if the hops are done more for the the smell than the than the flavor. Okay, so what did we learn today? Here's what we learned. Beer is still awesome, okay? Beer has evolved a lot, even from the 1960s to the 2010s. Um, I like the change. I think, I think the beer evolution is a positive thing. Um, because if all the shelves ever had to offer was this, I probably wouldn't be talking to you guys today. I probably wouldn't be an actual beer drinker. Um, change is good. Evolution is good. Uh, if this is their 1960s formula and this is what made them famous as a solid beer company, I wish you guys all the best in bringing that back. Um, I might have gone a new direction and just started brewing real beer. That's just an idea. I'm just throwing that out there. Um, here's to it, guys. Not everyone can be a winner here on the rounds. That's just how it's going to go. Find a beer, find a friend, make something happen. Have an awesome day, guys. We'll see you next time on the rounds, all right?